Do you ever feel like you look like your big toe on your left foot? Because same. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be testing out some eBay wigs for under £10. Now, as you guys know, I have done plenty of eBay and Wish testing videos, but I've never actually tested out the wigs before for a video. I've bought plenty of wigs from eBay actually for a lot of different videos that I've done on this channel, but never have I done an actual like testing video to kind of put the wigs to the test, see if they're actually like any good and if they look anything like the photos. So for today's video, I picked up five different wigs all under £10 which looked really really good on the website so we're just gonna see how they actually look in real life because the photos look very promising however from experience I feel like you can't really trust eBay when it comes to things like this if you guys enjoy these types of videos make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below don't forget to hit the bell button as well to stay notified of every time I post a new video and also don't forget to subscribe come and join the dinosaur family I would love to have you here but if you guys want to see what wigs I picked up from eBay then let's get on into the video. So the wigs I have chosen for this video are all right here. They look very promising. Here's a little sneak peek of all the colors. I definitely really wanted to give a whole different range and a whole mix of wigs a good try because I usually tend to get wigs that are quite long and straight. So the first wig that I picked up is this one right here. This is a full blonde kind of short wig up to here. Now this was at nine pounds. It kind of looks pretty good like from just a first glance okay so it comes in a little uh I don't even know what this is called, a little hair net. So none of these wigs are actually lace front, which is kind of, you know, sad because lace front wigs are the ones that look really, really natural on someone. However, I don't think you can actually get a lace front wig for as little as 10 pounds. So I ended up just getting regular wigs that don't have a lace front. Okay, so this is the wig. It looks kind of good. Like it feels really nice. It doesn't look too fake. Like with some wigs sometimes, especially when they're synthetic, what you get is like a really really shiny wig and it just definitely doesn't look realistic however this one looks pretty good it's not too shiny and it's kind of matte so that's a good start for nine pounds that's not bad so on the inside this is what it looks like and I have to say I'm not really a hundred percent convinced with the styling of this wig like in the photo it did not look like this um what I mean by that is that one side is kind of like curled in and then the other side kind of like flicks out which is really strange so anyway I guess what we're gonna do is just crack the first one on and see how it looks. I haven't actually worn a wig in a hot minute, so <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna look on me. Also, I haven't had blonde hair in forever. Let me know if you guys were around when I had blonde hair because that was kind of iconic. I kind of want to bring my blonde hair back at some point. This is so hot. Like, literally, I look banging. <laughs> oh no, my earring is stuck. I should probably get my earrings out. Anyways, my wig cap is now on. I literally look ridiculous but let's pop the wig on I am actually really looking forward to see how I look with blonde hair again <laughs> guys okay this is not a look can we just discuss this wig right now I'm gonna give it a decent brush and hope to god that I can somehow style this and make it look nice look at this this is like straight and then this just kind of like comes in. It looked so different on the photo. What the heck? Why is this side so long and why is this side so short? Maybe I'm meant to like flip it over. Ooh, does that look, is that a look? I can't tell. <laughs> okay, this looks a bit like Justin Bieber 2012, but we're gonna get there. We can make this work. I'm sorry, but it's literally nothing like the photo. I'm just looking back at the photo. It is so like slick and bougie and like nice. And this just, I mean, can we just compare this wig to this? Because it's not the same thing, is it? I really am determined to make this work because I actually really like the color and the cut is kind of cute. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does this wig, does this color suit me? <laughs> Obviously not like this. I'm kind of getting Draco Malfoy vibes, but oh, this is making me miss my blonde hair. And I've even got to say, even though it hasn't got a lace front, I actually don't feel like it looks as fake as like most wigs do. Do you know what I mean? When you put on a wig, sometimes this part just looks so bad. However, with this one, somehow it actually doesn't look too bad. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna crack out my trusty GHDs because I can't stand this style. I literally look like someone's mum. So I'm gonna try and kind of like straighten it a little bit. 
I know I really shouldn't be doing this because it is a synthetic wig, but it's kind of working, look at that. Okay, maybe, maybe I can make this work. I am actually so shook that this is working and it's not even melting the hair or anything. If I can make this wig work, is there any celebrity you would like me to turn into for a week that has blonde hair like this? I'm thinking maybe like Taylor Swift or someone like that. Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so my hair is now straightened and I feel like it actually looks so much better now than all these weird like waves. Okay, so this is the best I can get it and I've got to say it actually doesn't look too bad. The only thing I've got to say about it is that obviously the cut wasn't great. Like this side is still so much shorter than this side and I feel like it could do with a little bit of like a style trim. Okay, final verdict. I don't think this is terrible. It's definitely not the best wig I own. However, for nine pounds, it is not bad. So I'm actually going to give this one a thumbs up. Now, moving on to the next wig, we have a little bit more color. We have kind of like a pinky salmon sort of color. This wig cost me £8.50. This is a 29 inch long curly synthetic wig. I love the color. I just don't know if it's going to suit me, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. Let's take the dress. Draco Malfoy off. Ooh. Okay. Guys, this is really nice. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so again, it is like actual hair quality. Like it's really soft, really smooth, and it's not shiny. I don't know what it is, but back in the day when I would buy wigs for like Halloween parties from eBay when I was younger, they would always be so fake looking. They'd always be like really, really shiny. But this is actually so nice. I'm really excited for this one. Let's crack it on. <laughs> what the hell? This is so cute. I'm actually shook. Oh my god. Okay, it definitely needs a little bit of styling, but wow. Who is she? I'm really anxious to brush this one out because I feel like if I brush it, it might lose its curl. But I'm going to try and do a little bit of a touch up because it is kind of messy. Okay, what are we thinking? Does it look cute or does it look really weird? I can't tell now that I've brushed it out. I feel like it definitely needs a little bit of volume up here because it just looks a little bit flat. But overall, like it actually is really nice quality. I love the color. It's so like different. I would never ever have hair like this. But I think it's really cute. Like for the price that we paid, £8.50, this is not a bad wig at all. Like for cosplay or like dress dress up. This would be amazing. Even if you like whacked a little hat on or something, I feel like that would make this look a lot more realistic. I'm actually going to do that right now. I've got my little bubble hat. Let's put my theory to the test. Oh my god! It actually looks so cute. I love this with a hat. I think I would actually wear this out. Maybe not without the hat, but with the hat, I just think it looks so nice. I also feel like the length is really nice as well because it's quite long, but the curls are like really well placed. So I really like the style. Sorry, I'm like out of breath from like running up the stairs. Anyways, I love this one. I think it's so cute. I love the color. The quality is actually really good for £9 or £8.50, whatever it was. So I'm giving this one a big thumbs up. Okay, so for the next wig, I have this one right here. On eBay, this looked amazing. I don't know how it's going to look in real life, but this only cost me £8.83. Okay, so it's kind of like a gray sort of situation, a little bit of ombre going on. I've got to say, I used to want hair like this so bad. Like back in the day of Tumblr days, I would just look at hair like this on Tumblr and just like wish that it was me. But now I've got a wig. So this is definitely fulfilling my Tumblr days fantasies. So we're back to our dinner lady situation. <laughs> So let's crack this one on and see how this looks. I'm actually really intrigued to see if this one will look good. Ooh, okay, this is it. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, this is one of those wigs that I know is gonna get tangled so quickly and so easily. The hair quality on this one just isn't as nice. This definitely gives me like Halloween wig vibes. So this one cost us £8.83. Now, I've gotta say the end and like the overall style definitely looks a lot like the pink one slash the salmon one that I just tried on. I don't know how I feel about the root, like, it is a nice fade, but it's just a little bit too dark at the top, I think. Like, it's just... It definitely gives me like Bloody Mary vibes. I do really like the color of it. It's quite well styled and it is kind of long as well. So let's try it on with a hat and see how that will look because I feel like the hat just makes it look 
a lot better. Okay, that is actually quite cute now. I think what I didn't like about this one is definitely the root. Like the root just ruins it a little bit. I feel like I could totally get used to hair like this. All of my Tumblr dreams are flooding back. This is cute. I do really like this and I would probably again wear this out maybe for like an event or I don't know, like winter wonderland or something like that. If I actually had like somewhere to go, I wouldn't just rock around in this wig around like Sainsbury's or Tesco. I do think it's actually quite nice. It's really soft and it has a lot of volume. Like I'm actually really surprised that all of these wigs are really thick for the price that we paid. I've just noticed I'm literally embodying 50 shades of gray right now. But anyways, this is a gray wig. I think I'm gonna give it like a half thumbs up. I'm not a hundred percent convinced. And yeah, without the hat, I probably wouldn't wear it. But the next wig, I'm actually really excited to try because it looked so good on eBay. This is the photo that I purchased. So basically this was £7.96, which is actually the cheapest wig that I have bought for this video. Now, when I got it in the post, it looks like this. There's a lot of big, big black roots on this one, which in the photo, it didn't really look like it. So I feel like I'm onto something. They definitely didn't use the photo of this wig. This does come with a wig cap, which is quite nice. Oh, I'm getting so hot in this wig. Literally, my scalp is sweating. Anyways, the wig in question is this one right here. And I'm sorry, but this does not look like the photo. What the hell? So this is exactly what I mean by fake looking wig. It is so shiny. Like, look at this compared to this. You could so tell that this is a wig. Whereas with this one, it's a little bit more like believable. It's not so like shiny and super, super synthetic looking. But this one, oh my God, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> I can't even fit it on my head properly. And this keeps happening. It keeps going in my face. This is absolutely awful. What is this? Why? I just don't understand. Like it actually wouldn't be too bad if it didn't have the black. I mean, it still would be quite bad, but it wouldn't be as bad. This weird black thing, it looks like gone wrong highlights. It is so poorly styled. I don't think I can even salvage this one. This one is awful. I'm actually really disappointed by this one, but with that being said, all the previous three wigs I've tried on were actually surprisingly good. So I feel like at one point out of five wigs, there had to be a bad one. I'm actually really disappointed about this one because I thought this would be one of the best ones. I was actually really looking forward to trying like a blonde wig that's quite long. So yeah, I'm definitely giving this one a big thumbs down. <laughs> okay, this next wig I'm actually really, really interested in because I have seen this photo on the internet plenty of times. This is what the photo looks like on the eBay listing. It's basically like a really cool blue ombre going from like a dark blue to a lighter blue. So this is what the wig looks like. It looks kind of awful in the packet, but I'm not gonna judge it by that. I'm gonna actually take it out and see how it looks. Yep, it looks just like the other one, the blonde one I just showed you. Like the black doesn't really fade into the hair very well. Probably gonna be the same exact style, although this one looks a little less like fake. Oh my God, it's going so static. Do you see this? <laughs> okay, it's not as bad as the other one. It's still pretty awful because like this black thing literally is just like a chunk right here. That's all there is of the like ombre effect. I'm sorry, you can't even see my face right now. It's literally just like a clump of black that's meant to kind of like cascade and fade over the hair but it just looks like a really bad highlight job. I do like the color and I do like the quality of the wig, but I wish there wasn't that weird black thing. Like I actually would rather it didn't have the black thing. Okay, I tried to like tuck it behind my ears and I feel like it looks a little bit better now because it's a little bit more tame, but it still doesn't look its best. I like the quality of it and I quite like the volume and the curl, but it's literally just the black that's really ruined it for me. I'm actually really sad about this one because I thought this would be a really cool wig. I've always wanted blue hair, but I could just never do it because I was too scared. But let's try it on with the hat. 
Hopefully that will kind of make it a little bit better and cover up that weird root. Problem solved! Oh my god, this looks so cute with a hat. Can someone just tell me why every one of these wigs looks so good with a hat? What the heck? This is so cute. I would actually so wear this out. Like, it's really, really pretty and it doesn't even look like a wig. Now that I've got the hat on, I'm actually kind of impressed with how it looks. Like, maybe there's a way to get rid of those weird black hairs. Like, maybe cut it off or something. I really don't know. I've got to say for £8.50, it is a pretty wig as long as you're wearing some kind of hat. Hat. If you're not wearing a hat, it just looks like this. <laughs> I love this. Oh my god. I want to dye my hair loads of different colors now. So my final verdict of all of the wigs. I'm just going to keep this one on till the end of the video now. I am actually really, really impressed by most of them. There's obviously this one, which is a big, big no-no. So that's going straight back. In hindsight, I don't think I liked the blonde wig as much as I thought I did at the beginning of the video. Just because I've tried all of the other ones and I definitely prefer those a lot better than this one. However, this one wasn't the worst. Like, it was okay. I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10, but purely because of like the parting, it just wasn't that realistic looking. All of these wigs for under £10 were actually pretty good, and I feel like you could definitely find a way to make them work because they are very inexpensive and there are things that could be fixed about them. So, I am going to give an overall thumbs up to £10 wigs on eBay. I mean, there can be some that are not as nice as others but I guess it's kind of like down to trial and error. I will have all the links to the ones that I picked up so you guys can check them out for yourself if you would like. Let me know which one of these wigs was your favorite. The pink one was definitely my favorite and this one is my second favorite. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this or a part two potentially then let me know down below in the comments and give this video a huge thumbs up. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!